What's up legends? I've been playing loads of sniper recently and as I was maxing out my sniper I suspected that the perk that you unlock at level 21 and level 22 were going to be very powerful but little did I know how powerful it really is. Essentially you can be nearly permanently stealth especially in large waves of enemies. This build is so overpowered, I really don't think it's going to stay around for the long run, so enjoy it while it lasts. Now I'm not gonna yap too long here about the build, I'm just gonna show you the perks you need and how to be in this permanent stealth state and we'll jump into the gameplay here in a second. So basically these are the perks you need. For the core perks, which are the first three perks, you can pick whatever you want, matter of fact, you can actually even use whatever weapon you want as well on the sniper. But since I'm using the last few, so of course I'll just have to recommend this perk right here, which saves us a ton of ammo over the course of the game, but the really big perks are these next four perks. First, the team perk, Squad Renewal, which after each headshot kill you gain 10% of your ability charge back, which is absolutely insane. And the next perk, which works exactly like the team perk, except it's only for yourself and not for your team, gives you 5% more charge back per headshot kill, totaling 15% ability charge back per headshot. So realistically at this point we only need to kill 7 headshot kills to go from 0 to 100% but it actually is a lot crazier and overpowered than that. When you actually activate your cloak your ability charge doesn't instantly drop to 0%. After you activate it, it starts decreasing towards 0%, but if you were to go stealth and take a shot right away, your cloak sits at like 90% charge, which means at this point you only need one headshot kill to bring it back to 100%, and you can already turn it on again. I'll show you guys here in the gameplay in a second. But it gets even crazier than that of course. You bring this perk which increases the first shot by 75% which is enough to actually one hit some of the extremist enemies which you'll see here in the following gameplay. But the big perk that goes extremely well with this build is this one right here, the Lingering Concealment perk, which lets you stay in camo for two more seconds after you shoot. Now what does all of this mean? As you'll see here in the gameplay in a second, essentially you can activate your cloak, start taking shots and Lingering Concealment will keep you in stealth for two seconds. And while in stealth, if you manage to get at least one headshot kill, which is actually very easy, your cloak pops back up to 100% and you can already activate it again. So in swarms, the swarms are ex essentially trivialized because you can just keep reactivating stealth over and over and over and over again and dishing out massive waves of damage with this targeted shot perk right here. And after each headshot kill, your cloak is back to full and you just rinse and repeat. So enough talking about it, let's jump into the game so you guys can see it. Alright my boys, let's go ahead and put Start this to the test. Let's uh, cover here a full mission, just kind of uh, abusing the living hell out of this build. It's so, so powerful, dude. I think this is one of the builds that could probably, like, true solo this game, if it were possible. You know, like, soloing the game without even bots, just really just the character, like the player, I mean. Um, so yeah, we're, we kind of want to swarm here to really put it to the test to kind of show you guys how it works. These little groups are unnecessary to pop it. Okay, let's pop it here. Let's look for a headshot. So after you pop it, you kind of want to shoot right away and then search for a headshot. Okay, I got it there on the last kill. As you could see, after I went stealth, it dropped to about like 90% and then when I shot, it stopped at 90% and after one headshot kill it pops back up to full. That's kind of like the gist of it. These little groups are unnecessary to kind of kind of do it. You can just kind of manhandle them with a regular pistol so not really too worried about these. Kind of hoping one of uh, the swarms kind of comes out here right away. Oh, come on, Dan. That was fast. Nothing here. I'm kind of... I kind of know. I, I am playing offline right now, so Armory Data is not really going to do us any good, but 
I guess I'm searching for a guardian relic, just in case, you know, you never know. <laughs> you want to be always ready, right? Rid of you guys. So no swarms. This uh, first section here was completely empty. Oh, there is the armory data. Not going to do us any good, but we'll pick it up anyways. Couldn't find a... Uh, couldn't manage to solo today online, so I kind of had to go offline here to record this solo session. Oh, come on, bots. What? Oh, you're stuck. Oh, there you go. Alright, well, that was an empty ass for a section. See if we can get a swarm here. Nothing here. Oh, buddies, where are your friends at? Trying to show everybody a build and you guys have no backup. So we search for a headshot here. Okay, so I got a headshot there, but it didn't pop back up because... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Boom, there you go. It's back up. I'll tell you guys in a second. Boom, back up. And use it again. I forgot to mention, um, you have to... It only refills back to full towards the end of the Lingering Concealment. It doesn't recharge your ability, like, on the first shot or on the first few shots. It has to be towards the end of Lingering Concealment or, of course, after you're through with the cloak entirely. So... Okay, so we're about to get a, a swarm here and I'll show it better and... Uh, in a swarm gameplay. Refill ammo here. This guy, oh, yeah, this, this is gonna be bad. Let's just get rid of the big guys. You do, sir. And concealment is back. And it's back. Use it again. it's back and we can use it again oh that's a lictor kind of took a lot of damage there but and it's back we can use it again but yeah so you kind of need to for the recharge to actually work it needs to be towards the end of lingering concealment i know it can be inside of the lingering concealment but it has to be towards the end of it the Lingering Concealment is the, uh, by the way, I'm saying that a lot and some people might not know what it is. But the Lingering Concealment is the perk that allows me to stay in stealth after, even after I shoot for like two seconds. But yeah, uh, it only kind of recharges your ability towards the end of those two seconds. It doesn't like in the middle of it or anything like that. I want like a big swarm of like the little guys. That's when you really get like the permanent stealth. And this is of course if I just want to dish out damage. If I want to play it safe, what I can just do is like shoot, 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 stealth, then run away. And then headshot from far away. Oh crap, I didn't hear these behind me. I'm deaf, dude. For a headshot. There you go. Back up. Why are the swarms so small? Some weak ass waves, boys. Like a lot of uh, a lot of the bigger guys. Oh, there we go. We got a wave, boys. Oh, that was a horrible whiff. Oh, gotta kill one enemy here. Get my cloak back. There you go. Cloak up. Damn, I actually missed that headshot. God damn. Ugh. Okay. Oh, we got a gun strike. Hello. Oh, another gun strike. Get a headshot here. Use you. There you go. Cloak up. 
As I said, you can, of course, just kind of play it safer if you want. You can just cloak up and then get, like, way further back before engaging. Like, it'll take you, like, more headshot kills, probably, like, two headshot kills. But, yeah, it, it is a lot safer. I'm just kind of going all out to just spamming like a moron. We got a an extremist here, boys. Health is back. Pop it. Oh, I got crack grenades, actually. Oh, what the hell? That worked. One for each. <laughs> oh, I didn't kill it. Get rid of you first. Did I kill it? I'm not sure if I killed it. Yeah, I did kill it. Okay. But yeah, I'm just kind of spamming blindly, but of course you can do it like a lot... Uh, you can play it a lot smarter and, and safer as well by actually positioning yourself well. I'm just like spamming it just to show you guys how silly you can get. Back up, but I don't need to use it. But yeah, you can pretty much use any weapon you like. You don't need to use the last fusel. The the beautiful thing about the last fusel, though, blah, 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 the last fusel though is um, it's got ten penetration. Like it can penetrate through like a bunch of different enemies. Maybe maybe it has no limit on how much it can penetrate. But anyways, you can headshot like an enemy behind your main target so a lot of the times you'll get like accidental headshots which will then just refill your cloak for free which is fantastic so but yeah you could essentially use any weapon you want realistically i kind of want to level up the smg on the sniper and kind of see how it how it plays out i haven't seen a single sniper use the smg yet i wonder if it's just shit or <laughs> or what but <laughs> I feel like it could be kind of fun, like cloaking and then getting really close and just dishing out a bunch of SMG shots. Oh. We got a lot of Majoris this game, huh? Majoris are these uh, little guys right here, or the bigger guys, rather. Oh, need a headshot. Headshot, there we go. Can't see anything. Can't get a headshot if I can't see him. Bam! Just execute this one. God, I hate these things so much. And let's get rid of you as well. Anything here for us? No, sir. Changing magazine. Uh, no guardian relic here. Nothing here. All right, so the boss. So we haven't had the boss spawn yet, right? So. I think there is only about like two different sections the boss can spawn in, so and I gotta get ready here. Gotta conserve my ammo a little bit just in case. Since the bots deal no damage to to the bosses. Damn dude, I hate the visibility in this map. Oh, there we go, there's a couple of you. Ow. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> freaking knifing the air, dude. Take all you can carry. It's funny, I actually wanted this game to be like full and full and full of swarms, and it just kind of turned out to be like a super empty game. Holy shit. Here we go, we got it. Oh! Buddy, want to smoke? Lock 
Block, block. Come on, do it again. There you. Oh. You get rid of them, bots. Get rid of them. Got a reinforcement. And we got an enemy wave. Oh, shit. All right, that's good. Let's do it. Give me what you got. Ow. No need to stealth yet. Ooh. Can't see a freaking thing. Show me a head. There you go. There's a head. Oh, what? Health. Another headshot. Bam. Stealth. Oh, that was a chunky shot. Give me another headshot. Stealth. What? Flicked and it wasn't going. What? That didn't refill my charge. That was towards the end of the lingering consumer. What? How the hell did that hit the floor? Worst case scenario, if you don't actually manage to get a headshot, you can just kind of wait like five seconds anyways. It refills super quick. I think it's just absurd, dude. Ow, shit! I'm gonna wait for it to refill it here. I'm out of ammo. A most impressive cleansing, brothers. Come on. Damn! I love that one. <laughs> Just smash the fuck out of that little guy. We got zero ammo right now. All right. Uh, well, I got ammo here, but I don't need it anymore. Next section refills us. All right, we're looking pretty solid so far. I don't think we've even dropped below this health amount that I have right now. And I could have probably had my full health if I just uh, use it properly. I'm just trying to spam it as much as I can. Let's uh, resupply here. Obstruction detected. Thank you. Removal is required to commence. Oh, look at you showing the stem. Thank you. Good guy. Path is clear of detritus. Oh, he's looking at my phone. My bad. All right, so the boss can spawn here in this next section. Kind of hope it does. I mean, this is the last section it can spawn at, isn't it? I'm not sure if it can spawn after this area, so it has to spawn here. I'm pretty sure. No guardian relic. Oh. An indomitable aura surrounds this. Ask for it and you shall receive. A couple free kills here. Don't want these little fuckers to be sniping us in case a swarm comes through.
Though I probably don't need to do this, huh? <laughs> I can I can just go stealth. <laughs> and let's get rid of you, why not? Alien bioform eliminated. Seeking operator. Mm, where's the boss? No boss? Wait, but I don't think the boss can spawn anywhere else. I think this is the last section it can spawn at. Because the next section is the final section, and that's the swarm. I'm pretty sure the boss can't spawn there. Is this mission just glitched? It feels... Oh, look at that big old head. You gotta duck down, buddy. Oh, can't block that. Some nades. Mm, I got an extra nade. Dump, <laughs> dump it in there. Maybe there's some on there. Did I kill this one? Oh, shoot that. Oh, oh shit! You actually came out of nowhere. God damn! So I took a bit longer there to Oh god damn it that's not blockable. That was not a blockable attack. Oh my god. No, that was not a blockable attack either. <laughs> Fuck. Stop it. You're hurting me. Piece of shit. God damn, bro. We had lost, like, no health until now. But yeah, since I took a bit longer there to actually take my shot after popping my cloak, it would have cost taken me two headshots, I think, to fill up. But I think we... We were brought down to, like, 70% or so. Hello, big head. Ooh, nice. Okay. Oh, but what the hell are my bots doing? I think my bots were with me. Like that guy. I don't want him causing any trouble. Go stealth again. Oh, right, a bullet. Give me the headshot. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. I could use that banner, actually. Ah, uh, it's only the ranged ones. I'm completely out of bullets. God damn it. Can't see it. There we go. There's the seed. Ugh. Let's just get rid of you. You've been annoying enough. Alright, boys. On to the last section we go. So we didn't have a boss this game. That's weird. I wonder if this kind of glitched. I wonder if because I'm playing offline, it kind of behaves differently. I haven't played offline yet. All the solo games that I played were online. Lend me that jump pack sometime. But I this is the first one we're actually playing offline for this. There is no better line of fire than a barrel. All right, boys, here we go. Big old swarms. Oh, that's a free kill. Free swarm group kill, I should say. I forgot we have ammo refill here. I can just use the last few, so... Grenades. Pop off, why not? I 
I don't like how the shot actually fires like way below your crosshair. That like throws me off so much. It's like the first person. Oh. Do a stealth shot for it. Oh shit! One shot. Alright, I'll take it. What the hell? Holy crap, bro. Bro got demolished. Yeah, it feels like the first person view is like kind of misaligned. Kind of no, it, it is misaligned. It actually shoots quite far below the crosshair when you aim down. It's only an issue for the sniper class, I think, but yeah. There's the group. There are engines in service that may be routed along the parallel tracks. Do you know what's weird is that that last fuel so perk doesn't apply to these like swarms. Look at that, it's not refilling my ammo. Even though I'm killing more than one per shot. Just conserve the ammo on it then. Let's get rid of these by using this train. I need the ones trying to climb up. Oh, they all kind of switch there. All right, let's kind of make our way towards the ammo cache here. See, now here it works. I haven't even had to go stealth yet. Bots are kind of... Oh. Bots are kind of men handling them. Oh no, you see? Wait, oh, the boss is here. What the fuck? What? I didn't know the boss could spawn here. Oh, that is bad, dude. In the Oh my god. Yeah, this is actually really bad. In the middle of a swarm. Come on, pick up the freaking crack. <laughs> oh no, it took so long to pick it up. And we have to solo this because the bots don't deal any damage. Oh no. I hate dodging these balls. I kind of suck at it. Oh, rough. Come on, I want my stealth back. There's no little guys to use to refill my my charge. Dude, I do so much freaking damage. It's crazy. Oh, crap. I didn't see that. Dodge. Dodge. I think I'll just stick it with crack. Eat that shit. All right. That was really, really, really rough. We lost pretty much all of our health. Still good though. We can still be taken down once. And on top of that, after that, we have a guardian relic. So we're in a good place still. Shot. Here with the bulwark. Let me 
a headshot. That was weird. That was a headshot, I'm pretty sure. Didn't refill the dough. And we got the final power supply. Take it. Oh, hello. Stealth. Oh, God damn it. All right, final power supply, boys. Pretty solid. Hell no. No headshots there for me. Oh, I'm getting struck on the side. Beautiful. What a beautiful banner, dude. Good job, Bulwark. I love Bulwark bots. Come on, you don't want none of this, Ravener. If I could choose bots, dude, I would just pick a heavy and a bulwark every game. Those are by far the best. Oh, shit. Those are by far the best bots. Everybody view, top off an armor, and that's a wrap, boys. That is a wrap. Oh, I probably should have mentioned earlier, this build, of course, is going to be dramatically better if you play with players, right? Because when you play alone, the enemies are on top of you pretty much the entire time. Let's just get rid of this Ravener first. Come on, you dickheads. I'm going to mess with the Space Marines. Alright, but yeah, this is, of course, going to be a lot better if you play in groups. It's a lot easier to dish out headshot and you know of course your teammates are a lot more useful as well so um but yeah i just kind of wanted to showcase it here a little bit how it looks like in solo play and if one day they do add a method to do true solo i think this is going to be like my first build to do a true solo game because i think this build is, is very very doable to do true solo dude because if you have all the enemies just rushing you you can just sneak in a headshot here and there and just continually spam stealth and just bring them all down but yeah pretty solid game boys i mean it was kind of empty there was not much of a swarm there I, it, that was sadly one of the most empty games i've had in a in a, in a while i wonder if that's because i played in offline mode and the game kind of knew i was alone so it didn't like send as many enemies at me i don't know what the hell that was but i actually want to check how many kills we got here usually in this mission i think you get like solo you get like 500 600 kills but that felt much more empty maybe it's because we just destroyed all the swarms when they came at us so it just kind of felt empty i'm not exactly sure sadly all this xp is going to the trash 473 yeah that was pretty empty but yeah thank you guys very much for watching man i hope this video was useful to you guys you guys should definitely check out the sniper class it is absolutely absurd but yeah thank you guys very much for watching man i'll be catching you legends on the next one